Hey guys, it's Mallory here. Today I want to show you my nursery organization for two under two. So I have two little babies and they're not both sleeping in here yet. Only my older baby, Asher, is. He is almost 15 months and she is almost two months. So they're 13 months apart. And I did convert our dresser to be for two kids for both of them. So I just thought I'd show you how I organized that and their closet. I will do like a full nursery tour when she is in here. Um, I still sometimes feel like I want to try to figure out a way where they don't have to share a room. But I just don't really think it's possible. I don't want to put one of them in the basement and that's our only other option. We have a ranch style home with a master bedroom and this bedroom on the main level and then two bedrooms downstairs. But I don't really see putting a toddler or a baby downstairs. So this is what we have for now. I'll show you the nursery really quick and then the way that it is organized. If you hear any noises, it's because Asher is running around. This is the entrance to the nursery. We have this little bookshelf over here. The books are not organized well because Asher loves to take them down and play with them, read them here. Um, and then this is where I have his crib. We've got a nice big window. The cowhide is in here. Love the cowhide. It really matches well with the black and white theme. Um, we swapped out their nicer glider. It's in my room right now for nursing River, my two month old. And this is the dresser. It is the, I think it's Hermes, Hermes, Her, Hermes is not right, but Hermes, I don't know what it is, but it's the um, like really popular one for nurseries from Ikea. And then um, just have this little cute setup above, some books, mirror and shelves. And then this is the closet, which I'll show you in there. And we use the Ubi Ubi diaper pail. So this is how I decided to organize things. I've got two drawers for diaper stuff, which I did it this way when I reorganized because eventually I'll have Rivers diapers in here. But right now that's in our room for the bedside nursery, which if you missed that, I did do a bedside nursery tour. Um, just a, a few videos ago, so check that out. But um, I have his diapers in here for now. Um, butt paste, that kind of thing in here. This is the one we use the most, it's the Aquaphor. And really like this. We have two tubs, one for each kid. And then these are the Kirkland brand wipes and diapers, which we love from Costco. Then they each have one of these top drawers, so. In rivers we've got little socks and cute like I mean sock shoe kind of things very girly stuff in here we've got um, little mittens for her to not scratch herself and then these little things which I don't really know when they wear these I guess if they're wearing like a dress or something then this goes over their diaper haven't had to do that yet but super cute um, we've got little baby hats um, and then these are lots of bows, so I try to put her in bows whenever we're doing pictures. Oh, I forgot that I had a bow to, that matched that outfit. Oh well. Um, and then I've got little shoes, little slippers, that kind of thing in there. And then this just has a couple hats. I have mommy and me matching winter hats. Hi, did you close the door for us? Thank you. Again, I apologize for baby noises in the background. In Asher's drawer, we have pacifier clips, we have his hairbrush, socks, lots of socks. He wears socks a lot. We've got lots of bibs. The bibs are like exploding out. <laughs> and then lots of little hats that don't really fit anymore. And his winter hats and gloves and things like that. Then the way I divided the bottom, left is Asher, right is River. And I think I did a really good job. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So hopefully it gives you some inspiration if you're looking to do something similar. If you have two babies. I need to feed him lunch soon. So maybe that's why he's talking a lot. Um, I did use these drawer dividers that are also from Ikea. So very affordable. Um, we have all of his onesies rolled up over here. This is mostly jackets, but we also have 
um, like his <coughs> big brother outfit, um, sweater jackets and stuff. Um, these are his shorts. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, baby. These are his shorts since it is summer, spring, summer time now. Even though it just snowed here in Colorado. These are t-shirts. I love seeing him in little t-shirts and shorts as outfits. And then these are like jumper kind of things. Um, jumper rom romper. I don't know what they're called for boys. But the ones that are like with shorts in the outfit and the onesie. So basically what he wears the most or will for the season. Down here we have pajamas. I don't even think these fit anymore. Um, these are nicer pants. These are pants he wears the most, like comfy pants, joggers and stuff. We've got a swimsuit back here, bigger size pants, bigger size shorts. He's gonna start reorganizing for us. And this is Riverside, so lots of girly stuff. Um, I've already cleared out a ton of stuff because newborn doesn't even fit her anymore, really. So I've got um, some little outfits over here, ones that I want her to wear soon. She's got little matching sets here. She just wore a Winnie the Pooh one yesterday that was super cute, but this one is Minnie Mouse, so it comes with the little joggers. So I just keep those there. Um, these are little swimsuits I can't wait for her to wear. Lots of like summery onesies and stuff that should fit in warmer weather. These are like zippers, sleepers, and outfits. And then these are short sleeve and long sleeve onesies. Down here I have all her little pants and leggings. This is zipper sleepers. Um, more pants leggings that I think are a bigger size. Um, bigger size onesies, so these must be like three months through three to six months. And then really cute little outfits that are either like matching sets or just like special little outfits that I want her to wear that are super cute and a little bit bigger. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to refold all of this. But yeah, so that is the basic rundown of our organization in here. I love this um, dresser and highly, highly recommend it and love having this whole little setup on top as well. I think I'm going to have to move his changing table because sometimes he will kick the shelf now, but the problem is he also like moves the mirror. So we might just have to take that down. I don't know, but I love the way it looks. So I don't want to. <laughs> Let's show you the closet now. The way I did the closet is I just split it in half basically. So this side is her side. And what I hung is mostly just bigger sizes. Um, she also has this like cute little robe. Um, but mostly it's just like bigger sizes or bigger items like this warm fuzzy thing. Um, and then this area is not super organized but I'm starting like memory boxes for them. So that's Asher's first year, it's full. I'm almost done. What's wrong? You're funny. Oh, okay. I'll open the door for you. There you go. And then this side is basically just Asher stuff hung up. So um, these are all like nicer shirts that he wears now that fit him now that I don't fold or whatever. And then these are bigger items. Um, and a lot of them are actually 18 months, which he'll fit in now. So I need to go ahead and put them in the dresser. I like having them rolled in the dresser for seeing them and everything and not having to hang them up. So that's just the way I decided to do it. I know everybody does something a little different. And then this is just filled with some random things like baby carriers this is a baby scale um my spectra that i never used my pump so yeah yeah can you say bye good job so that is going to be it for today's video thank you so much for watching again um i definitely recommend ikea for baby organization and everything else for the nursery that's where our crib is from, that's where our high chair is from. Hi. Um, our dresser, just tons of stuff, all these like organizing bins, the drawer dividers, all from Ikea, very affordable. Definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. 
I am super grateful for those of you that are following along and let me know if you have any video requests or questions or anything in the comments and I will see you next time. Bye.